All right, uh, construction video time. Last time I did one, this beam you're seeing here was down on the ground. And I've decided to put this in to strengthen the floor upstairs. I've tried all my other options, and this was what I ended up at. There'll be a column over here in this wall, and they'll be buried in the wall, and there'll be a column freestanding here under this other end. I've welded these little plates, you know, on this so I can bolt some kind of connection, and this beam will go right up underneath that double uh, joist up there. So what I've got here is a way for one guy to put this up safely. Up in there, there's a pulley and there's a quarter inch thick angle with a hook welded into it or through it that the pulley's hanging on. And there's an anchor knot here around this. This beam weighs 450 pounds, more or less. So each side is lifting 200 something. This rope is rated for 500 pounds. So what I ended up doing was screwing an eye bolt into the joist down below and then using this, using this come along to lift it up. I'm going to have to do it in two lifts. Um, I built these little temporary walls on either side of the beam, two on each end, to help with the lifting. So now the next step is to loosen the come along on each end and um, put a new alpine butterfly hitch you know up up here and then start pulling from up there and I can raise it almost all the way because of this you know this knot I'll be able to get it within about two inches of the joists and then that fine and I'll nail off up there so it'll be hanging up in the air and then the final bit I'm going to use built up posts and these bottle jacks to snug it up into place. Oh, it's a pretty impressive beam. Nice to see it. And my prompt for this was I finally found an HVAC guy. I know I have the masonry heater here, but it's problematic. I don't like that word. It's like psychobabble in a sense. But I need a good source of dry firewood. I never have time to cut it ahead of time or to build a shed to store any dry firewood I might buy because of farm stuff. So, And for the long-term stability of this house, I need to condition the basement as well because there's a fair amount of humidity down in the basement floor. I don't know if you can see the floor there. It has a little buckle to it. I try to dehumidify it, but basically in the winter... There's too much. I need to condition that space down there. And so a forced air, he's coming to install a forced air furnace down in the basement. He'll have um, plenums running underneath this floor, and they'll pop up to heat this floor, as well as heat downstairs. And then we're going to run a supply and return behind this false wall here upstairs to uh, heat the second floor eventually. But it's just going to be stubbed in for now. So my prompt to do all this was the fact he's coming on Thursday. Today's Tuesday, and I needed to get this stuff out of the way because I need to move a bunch of that drywall because in front of every one of these windows is going to be a duct register. So I need to get this material moved. The first step is getting this beam up today. Then I can put drywall. I can finish. I started the drywall that first run over there. I'll, the next one I'll put up to the beam against against the existing line and then up to the beam and i've got one light lit over there just to give a sample there's 12 i think 12 cans in the ceiling there's one there one there blah 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 so that's that it's nice to get some of this done i got the kerns uh, in the shed yesterday um, i've still got corn and soybeans to do but that's a month or two away thanks for watching um Notice Sistema, Radio Guadalajara, for you uh, Spanish speakers out there. Adios, amiguitos.